Hello everybody, it's Fufu here, and today I'm going to be doing a video all about the cute coral Pokemon Corsola. I'll be talking about how much stronger it is now in Generation 7 after some buffs. If you are enjoying this kind of content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up because it does really help out my channel, but if not, that's fine too. First of all, let's go over what Corsola used to do before Generation 7, how good it used to be and what role it played, and then we can have a look at those awesome buffs. So Corsola is a water rock type Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 2. It's very slow, I mean it's coral so that makes sense, and it has low offensive stats, but it's got kind of decent bulk. It's not the bulkiest Pokemon out there, but it's, its defensive stats are better than its offensive stats, although that doesn't say very much. The issue here is that actually the water rock typing gives it quite a lot of common weaknesses, like ground typing, fighting, electric and the four times weakness to grass which are weaknesses you don't particularly want to see they're relatively common attacking types especially ground and fighting which are used by normal type pokemon as coverage so that's really annoying because it's got a really nice resistance to normal type but then they usually have coverage for the rock typing so that's annoying where the news is a little better is in its move pool. It has some great utility moves like Stealth Rock and Scold for getting some burns and also it has the very important Recover giving it reliable healing so that it can stick around a bit more. It doesn't have the best bulk in the world but it's usable and you have Recover to keep it around and healthy. In Generation 5 it was granted a great boon in the ability Generator, which means that when you switch this Pokemon out it will heal some of its health automatically, which makes it a really nice pivot Pokemon you can switch in on an attack and then switch out again and you can get some health back just passively, which is great. And that's all I will say on Corsola for now. It's lacklustre stats relegated Corsola to be virtually unused. Some people used it as a, a Stealth Rocker and a Pivot. But the bulky sets were usually not even quite bulky enough then, so that's where we were before Generation 7, and now we get to the buffs. The first one I'm talking about is a stat buff. It's actually a pretty impressive stat buff, so it's a big buff to its bulk. It gets plus 10 in its HP stat, its defense stat, and its special defense stat. So three stats affected by a stat buff is really nice, and actually that's definitely going to help out with its overall bulk. If you want to run a physically defensive course that its special defense will be better because it's got that HP buff and the special defense buff as well. So that's really nice, it's just all round much more reliable as a pivot and as a utility Pokemon. I think the best way to celebrate this stat buff is on a typical utility set. I mentioned some of the moves you want to be using, so that's going to be Scold to get some burn, Stealth Rock. Toxic is really good for hitting other walls and then you can recover off as they get weaker and weaker. So that is a really neat set to be using with this Corsola set. The Regenerator works really well, it can be a great pivot to switch in on some normal types or some flying types and resist their attacks and then switch out again and passively heal health. So that's really nice. The second buff I'm going to talk about is that Corsola now gets Liquidation, a physical water type move. And that may seem really weird with how I've talked about Corsola so far. There is one thing that I have not mentioned. Corsola gets the Hustle ability, which boosts its physical attack by 1.5 times, which is the equivalent of a choice band. And that actually makes Corsola's invested attack stat after EV is calculated and everything with the Hustle ability, it's comparable to a Pokemon with base 110 attack, which is actually pretty strong. The issue is that Hustle does make your moves less accurate. So that's, that's really interesting. And from generation six, it actually has access to a very powerful rock stab move in Head Smash. It's already got shaky accuracy and when you add on the hustle accuracy nerf, that's gonna be very hard to hit. It's only around the accuracy of hypnosis, which is very hard to hit. But unfortunately, Corsola didn't get any water stab moves and none of its stab moves that it could use on the physical side were very accurate at all. So it's really hard to hit any of its moves. But now it gets Liquidation, which is a strong physical water type move with 100% accuracy. So it's really nice just to give Corsola a really good option to hit other Pokemon and especially to hit the ground types that would resist its head smash. 
So you can now legitimately try a Choice Band Corsola set with the Hustle ability, Head Smash and Liquidation. It gets Earthquake, which is pretty decent coverage for Head Smash. And your last move could be something like Icicle Spear to catch some grass types. That could be really nice. And you will actually be able to one hit KO a lot of Pokemon, which will take tons of people off guard because anyone seeing a Corsola are probably going to be expecting a Regenerator set. So this can be really, really fun. Head Smash is definitely the attack that will get the one-hit KOs most frequently, but you can get some super effective liquidation KOs. The issue is you have to be very brave because Head Smash does miss relatively frequently. The next buff I'm going to be talking about is Z-Moves. Now, I normally only talk about Z-Moves as a buff for a Pokemon if it allows them to do something they couldn't do before. For example, boost a certain stat that they weren't able to by any other means previously. But I'm going to make an exception this time because Corsola's offensive Z-Moves have so much going for them. Specifically, Continental Crush on a Hustle set based on Head Smash. The usual accuracy, as I mentioned, is very low. It's only about 64%. That's like hitting a hypnosis, which is really hard to do. So it's really, really hard to hit these moves. But if they hit, they do a ton of damage. But with Z moves, Z moves always hit. And you can still get the hustle boost, but you don't have the nerf on the hustle accuracy. So that's fantastic. For hustle Pokemon, Z moves are a really good option. So Corsola with offensive Z moves, specifically the Continental Crush, is going to be great. Especially because Continental Crush, based on Head Smash, caps out at 200 power. So that is one of the strongest Z moves in the game. And why not try go all out with this gimmick if you try to use a rock polish set? Because even with an adamant nature, not even a jolly nature, then Corsola can outrun base 105 speed Pokemon at plus two, which is good because it means you can have an adamant nature, you can hit as hard as possible. The issue is that anything faster than 105 speed or any scarfers at all will still outspeed this Corsola, so you need to watch out for that. But it's a really fun one to catch people off guard with. If you want to sweep someone with a Corsola, it's actually possible. The last set I'm going to talk to you about today is maybe the most gimmicky, which after what I've just talked about might take you by surprise, but it's just one that I wanted to mention because it's a tactic that I particularly like. So now, Corsola can have Whirlpool. It's always been able to have Whirlpool though because it learns it in generation two. But because of the virtual console, you're able to transfer Corsola into your current games and it's able to have Whirlpool in combination with its hidden ability Regenerator now, which is a much, much better ability for it to have on a Whirlpool set. And I'm going to be talking about a trapping set specifically. So Whirlpool, obviously, it traps your opponent in and it will deal passive damage to them at the end of the turn for four to five turns. You can trap your opponent in, set them up with a toxic, and just watch them perish. So that is really cool. You probably need the binding band for the binding band for this just to make sure that your damage does rack up in time. But yeah, that's a, a really nice if gimmicky set that I wanted to try, and it, it can be fun. The issue is if the opponent has recovery or any phasing moves or things like this, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work so well. Um, perish trapping is better than this kind of trapping, but if you want to watch your opponent slowly perish to a trapping Corsola with Regenerator, you can do that. And the fact that it does have Regenerator now, it means that you'll probably get it out of the exchange at very high health because when you switch out you will heal even more and you can just try and do that again, just rinse and repeat. Just as a side note, it works best with toxic spikes because it means that you don't have to set up the toxic yourself and also, um, even if you don't want to run a gimmicky trapping set, Whirlpool is a pretty nice attack just for the standard Corsola utility set because it's not very strong so if you want residual damage at the end of the turn, Whirlpool gives you that. You're probably doing more damage with Whirlpool than you would be with Scold. And also, it means that you don't have to predict because the opponent doesn't, they can't switch. So you don't have to predict them switching around if you trap them in with Whirlpool. So I think it's a quite a good move just for the general utility set anyway. But yeah, the fact that you can get the Whirlpool regenerator combination is definitely a buff. 
And there you have it, my take on Corsola. A lot of new ways to use it. I think the stat buff makes it overall a lot more viable. All sets benefit from that. But it also is a much more versatile prospect too with all the other buffs. Whether you want to try a more reliable standard set or fire off those gung-ho hustle head smashes, Corsola is bound to be fun to use. So please give it a go. That's going to be all for this week. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.